Members of the Kentucky National Guard gathered at the Owensboro Convention Center tonight ahead of deployment to the Middle East. Well, tonight, the soldiers focused on readiness procedures like insurance and family benefits. But soon, they'll be leaving home. Eyewitness News' Amanda Mueller is here with the story of one couple's sacrifice. Well, Brad and Shelley, behind the paperwork, there are real people, families watching their loved ones leave. I spoke with a couple who truly shows what many military families sacrifice to do their duty, including sometimes their own wedding plans. We've been married for three months, seen each other for about a month's worth of it. Most newlyweds spend the first months of marriage settling in to a new normal. We just got back from our honeymoon like a week, about a week ago, so. <laughs> but the Runyon's normal is different. And I went to a training thing for about three, four weeks, and I came back ten days, and I had another three-week training thing. The big part of our first of our relationship, first like eight months for long distance. So Sergeant Adam Runyon will not spend much of the next year with his new wife. Instead, his 206th Engineer Battalion will deploy to the Middle East. I've been in for seven years. This is my first deployment. I've bounced around to a few different units, had a lot, a lot of experiences in a lot of different areas, but I'm happy. I'm really happy that I got picked up for this and I landed here. Like so many here, he is leaving behind loved ones to serve his country. But those holding down the fort at home are not without help. They've told us all like the support channels that they have for all the families. And it's really comforting to be here with families and spouses who've gone through deployments before. While we are gone, the spouses and everyone else will be at home so they can talk to each other and support each other through various things. And, hey, I don't know how to do this with the military. Oh, I've been through this four different times. A yellow ribbon ceremony will send them off. I know he's excited, so, so I'm excited for him. And so many of them are leaving big shoes to fill in the homes they leave behind. This is a family thing. We're only as strong as our families are at home. And details on where they're going and how long they'll be gone are confidential, but they will be working on construction missions for Operation Inherent Resolve, which is a campaign against ISIS. And the last time this unit was deployed was in 2006 when they were sent to Kuwait. All right. Godspeed.